bring you along. We're gonna do some speck fishing, crappy, whatever you want to call it. We call them speck here where I live out here in Florida. Gonna do a little wade fishing. Gonna do a little boat fishing. Probably the best eating freshwater fish that I've ever eaten. So tag along. We're gonna see if we can get us some speck. Do a little catch, clean, and cook. Get out here amongst them, catch them big ones. Just gotta keep an eye on them real big ones. The old alligators. There we go. All right, good to go. Well, boys and girls, that's a wrap. Got about 25 in there. Got some, went out done a little speck fishing today. Done a little wade fishing. Jigging with a 12 foot ACC crappy stick jig pole with some 25 pound braid. And that catching quite a quite a few. I'll show you a simple and easy way. Get your good old flea knife, run down until you hit the spine. Flip it. Show you quick how we trim these rib bones out. All right, you get done filleting these, you'll be left with a nice, some nice little morsels. You cannot beat that. All right, it's been a couple days. We got these spec fillets. We're gonna do blackened fish tacos or blackened crappy tacos. So I got my cast iron skillet here. Throw about a half a stick of butter in there. We're gonna let that melt. Mild cilantro. You can get this at Walmart, Publix. We like avocados, some shredded iceberg lettuce, and some taco blend cheese. Get you some taco shells. Great value. Toast these up. Some sour cream. That's about all you need. Using some Zalorettes, blackening and seasoning. 
get these things seasoned up. I'm gonna throw them, I'm gonna throw them in here and start these tacos. All right, take your blackened season here and sprinkle it on your fish. Just, just get one side coated. I'll do this quick and easy here. All right. Just coat one side that way. You throw it in there and coat the other side. All right, when your butter's good melted in your cast iron skillet here, lay these things in here. Season side down. Then we'll season the other side. You always got somebody in here waiting for some crumbs. Yeah. Alright, these things are ready to turn. Um, this thing right here is a toadfish spatula, fish flipper, whatever you call it. This thing right here is pretty sweet. Scoop these fillets up. Turn them over without any issues. It's looking just right. A couple more minutes, they'll be ready. Fillets are done here. Scoop these up. I like letting them sit on this little rack here just to drain all the extra butter off of them. Take a little sogginess out of them. Clean the cast iron skillet out. You know, I just use a fried fish. Good thing about cast iron. This stuff right here lasts a lot of time and it cooks unbelievably. Simple. You don't know how to cook tortillas yet. I'm sure there's 10 million videos on YouTube that'll tell you how to cook tortillas. All right, been about a minute. We're gonna flip this tortilla over. It's simple. Use your hands or whatever you got. I'm gonna throw this thing together real quick. I thought we had some sour cream, but it expired, so. Fish taco, crappy taco. Spec taco, your fish fillets, throw them on there. A couple of nice little pieces. I like some avocados here, we'll throw some avocados on there. We usually take the um, sour cream we spread on that before we start that, but we really like avocados around here. We'll get some shredded iceberg lettuce right here. A little bit of taco blend cheese. We take some of this cilantro mix. This is like tomatoes, onions, cilantro. There you have it. All right, I got my taste tester. My wife here. She's gonna give it a taste and see how she likes it. I gotta say, bless before you do it. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the food. Please bless and nourish our bodies. Please let it let us continue to love one another and help the ones who need your healing at this time. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, let's go. Give it a shot. Mm. What'd you think? It's a little spicy, but it's really good. Maybe a little less blackened and seasoned or some kind of a little bit more mild, but there you have it. Simple and easy. Fish tacos. You make it home for any kind of fish. We've been catching speck here in North Florida, so that's what we got. Blackened speck fish tacos. Till next time, we'll catch you later.